Today's podcast is brought to you in part by Sarsen Funds, real, clear, crypto, and general provision. Daily game plan for success. It's Sax in the morning. Steve Sax. Hi, Steve Sax here with Sax in the morning. Today, I wanted to talk about a principle that I think is vital for any of us to live joyful lives and free of resentment and anger. That principle is forgiveness. And while reading about forgiveness, I came across this amazing story about a man named Ray's Bouillon. Today, Mr. Bouillon speaks about forgiveness and human rights through his nonprofit called A World Without Hate. But in 2001, he was a Muslim immigrant from Bangladesh, working at a convenience store in Dallas, Texas. Ten days after the horrific attack of 9-11, a man walked into the store and asked Ray's where he was from. Before he could even answer, the man shot him in the face at point-blank range with a sawed-off shotgun. That week, the shooter, Mark Stroman went on to murder two other people he believed to be Muslims as revenge for 9-11, while Mr. Bouyan miraculously survived. Stroman was caught and tried for murder and sentenced to the death penalty. Mr. Bouyan's life was never the same, and for a time, he was completely ruined. He had no health insurance and had tens of thousands of dollars in debt. His fiancée left him after the incident, and today he still has over 30 shotgun pellets embedded in his face. No one would blame him for holding a grudge or for hating Mark Stroman and reveling in the fact that he would be put to death. But on a trip to Mecca with his mother, Mr. Bouillon had a spiritual experience while praying where he came to see that he and Mr. Stroman were just two connected human beings who had different life experiences and that Mr. Stroman's experience led him to a life of ignorance and hatred. Bouillon forgave Stroman on the spot and felt that Mr. Stroman being put to death didn't fix anything or attempt to solve the deeper problem. Ray's Bouillon then went on a quest to stop Mr. Stroman from being executed and went as far as suing the state of Texas to stop the execution. He was unsuccessful, but when Mr. Stroman heard what Ray's Bouillon was doing, he was overwhelmed. The two exchanged several letters, and on a phone call before Mark Stroman was executed, he even told Ray's that he loved him. In some of his final words, Mark Stroman called for hatred in the world to stop and said, quote, hate causes a lifetime full of pain. He credited Ray's act of forgiveness with bringing him a peace and contentment that he had never before experienced in his life. So, How does this make you feel when you hear this true story? Does it make you feel like you still want to hate Mark Stroman? Or does it make you feel the way Ray's Bouillon did when he actually let himself out of prison by forgiving him and letting go of the hate? I think that's something that all of us can contemplate in what we may be going through in our respective lives. But I think this powerful story of letting go of hatred and not being held down, imprisoned, and destroyed by the internal hatred that you may carry around is something that we should all think about. And that's my short for today. If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also, remember that the Sacks in the Morning swag is now available on my Instagram site. Go to Sacks in the Morning underscore podcast. You'll see it right there on the Instagram and just hit the link. Everything's there mugs, hats, tumblers, you name it. Take advantage of it. Today's podcast was brought to you by General Provision and Sarsen Funds. Sarsen Funds, real, clear crypto. One of the more popular financial investments in the market today is cryptocurrency and blockchain. You've heard a lot about it. Bitcoin and others make the news on a regular basis. But it's a new currency and a new process that many of us don't really know or understand. And that's where Sarsen Funds come in. They build your confidence with knowledge of the investment. They're a leading educator for financial advisors and consumers. I know. I personally have investments with Sarsen. They have a passion for cryptocurrency with a team that boasts a wealth of knowledge in the industry. More importantly, they have the resources to help us, you and me. 
Learn about this new and exciting investment opportunity, like Cryptocurrency 101. It's yours by simply visiting the website and clicking on Education and Marketing. If you want to learn more, if you're looking to get a high-level Wall Street-grade understanding of cryptocurrency and blockchain, visit sarsenfunds.com. They've helped me understand why this is a great investment tool and to better understand what it's all about. Sarsen Funds. Real. Clear. Crypto. Crypto. 